Welcome everyone, how you guys doing? If you guys inside here, hit that subscribe, like, share. Let me pull this mic a bit closer. Like and share, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out. But yeah, hope everyone is doing well and safe out there. We're going to get straight into this. How Kendrick Lamar was just challenged by Loop Fiasco. Okay, all right. I know a few Loop Fiasco um, songs from back in the day. And he's a, he's, a good, he's an okay rapper, you know. Like, Loop Fiasco is good, but he's a lyricist. His pen is serious, but yeah, let's see what they're saying. Now, during the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef, while many rappers came out and showed their support for Kendrick during this feud for the ages, one MC that continued to take a clear stance against him that you would be surprised to see what? if you didn't know anything about their past was none other than Lupe Fiasco. And from- Say what? I just said all of that just now to be smacked in the face with one artist who has taken a stance against hold up there we you, you look i'm here stuttering you trying to say he's on drizzy's side hold up let's from see. when j cole apologized to kendrick lamar all the way back when seven minute drill released and lupe was thrown onto a list alongside cole of rappers who apologized to kendrick after butting heads with him and came out to publicly say that he hasn't just never went back on his attacks regarding kendrick's lyrical ability but that he fears no other rapper period and now beyond just this lupe continued to poke kendrick while he was in the musical feud that the entire world was watching as he went as far to say that drake is a better rapper than him and while if this came Okay, so, I swear, because I pulled this up here, and I think because I pulled this up, yes, uh, to react to, I saw when I was going through my YouTube, Luke Fiasco just released a tune, a song yesterday. Is he doing all of this for clout? Because he has a new album coming out. If that's the case, smart move, you know. But then... You lose a lot of points from me now who had you, like, you know what I'm saying? You chasing clout. Number two, you actually utter the words to come out your mouth to say, who is a better rapper than who? Ah, uh, bro, what are you smoking? Seriously, you, 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 there's a LOL at the end, right? He said that and laugh. He said that sarcastically, right? I'm just... ...from anybody else. These claims would just be thrown under the rug and never thought about again. Because a wordsmith of Lupe's stature is saying this, while well, nobody's gonna buy into this narrative that the guy who uses ghostwriters and still manages to come up with bars like this is at all better than the guy who made this. What Lupe's constant dismissal of Kendrick Lamar tells us is that there is some serious animosity between these two, and while yeah. Lupe Fiasco yep. is definitely the hater in this situation, when we look at the trajectory of his career, I didn't even know there was really beef. can't be surprised. Just like Kendrick, Lupe emerged into a rap game at a time where lyricism was being valued less, and he was able to be a breath of fresh air into the genre that showed that one of rap's most sacred elements can still thrive within the modern musical landscape at the time, and with his first two albums in Food and Liquor and The Cool not just being critical mm. successes that are considered some of the best of their time, but also projects that were smash hits commercially. Real talk, when we real look talk. back true, now, true. it seemed like Lupe was supposed to hold the mantle that Kendrick Lamar ended up taking, but as his career played out- I'm, I'm still here in shock. We have a lyricist, a man who's known for his penmanship, go and say that somebody who has a team of ghostwriters is better than another known lyricist yo don't let me find out that lupe, lupe here is inside um drake's pocket man let me know what y'all think in the comment man you think he under ovo um payroll so i'm this is making no sense like 
Yo, now, and he faced horrible issues with his label and was never able to get that same commercial pull after all the drama he faced. He was never able to cement himself as the long-lasting lyrical and commercial force that he once was destined to be, despite how great some of his later projects have been, and as all of this slipped out of his hands. Kendrick was the guy who caught this mantle and ran with it to new places that we have never seen, as every single one of his albums since Good Kid Mad City hasn't just been fantastic and boundary pushing, but even with their heavy lyrical focus and rich conceptual depth, they have all been massive commercial successes, so when we understand this, I think on some level, it is understandable that Lupe has his problems with Kendrick, but at the end of the day, what matters most when you have an issue with somebody in hip hop is that if you ever get called out for your hating behavior, yep. that you are skilled enough to clap back at yep. your opponent. And especially yep. in this very moment in time where Kendrick came at Drake, J. Cole, and even went as far to diss a hip hop pioneer who was hating on him in Melly Mel on his verse and like mm. that, which I think we all forgot about. Everything we have seen recently in hip hop has shown us that Kendrick does not seem to be afraid of anybody as he has humiliated all of his competition. Bro, Kendrick wants all the smoke. All the smoke, like real talking. And Lupe right now, man, is like, you do come across like a hater then. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Like, it's obvious, it's common sense here. We all know what time it is. Hip hop knows what time it is. And you who's meant to be like a serious hip hop, artist you know what i'm saying um you should know better so of course he's gonna come across the hate my man where you smoking for real bro? so far you and be... now when it comes to loot stop drinking that haterade put down the haterade go get another drink it's not helping a fiasco when it comes to this hip-hop legend who has had building tension with kendrick that he never knew would boil over what is confirmed more than ever right now is that despite not having the commercial success or the influence that Kendrick Lamar does, Lupe Fiasco is one of the few rappers on the planet who can stand toe to toe with Kendrick in a rap beat and he showed everyone this just right now by not directly dissing Kendrick, but just by showcasing how incredible of an MC he is with his brand new album Samurai, which on every That's single level of this project is on par with the type of creative energy Kendrick Lamar brings to his music. And if you're familiar like with Lupe's catalog, this is absolutely no surprise because the guys- I just said that, you bring out a new album because then it sounds like clout and if it's clout, oh, you're losing points because you're not really a clout chaser. You're not known for that. And is that, these are the kind of moves that people need to do to get trending, to go viral. You want to attack the person who might be most popular at the time? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. He's always coming up with the most insane concepts to tell stories through on his albums, and with his latest record, he's taken his own standard and raised it to the next level in such a contested moment in rap, and also in a time where lyricism seems to be back at the forefront like it hasn't been in quite mm. some time. And this is all because of the very framework of the story he is trying to tell on this LP. Now, when it comes to the art of the concept album, this is another pillar in hip hop that seems to be getting lost in this modern era of the genre as it seems like so many rappers today just don't understand how to truly flesh out the musical world of a project and tell a compelling story and I think in their own ways. While most rappers are struggling in this regard miserably, Kendrick and Lupe are the current top guys in this field but on opposite sides of the coin because for Kendrick, the concepts he tends to wrap his albums through are always so big and relatable in scale, and this is partially what has helped him become so successful as a commercial something. force, but- I ain't got Lupe in my top five. I ain't even know if I got Lupe in my top ten. Might be able to creep into the top ten, but still, I don't even think so. You know, I, I don't think Lupe is a K-K dot. Lupe ain't got nothing that's fucking with the boogeyman. I, I'm just, he ain't got nothing. Baba Yeager just coming out, brother, and it's over. Like, it's, yeah, we watching two different movies, you know what I'm saying? Like, he watching some other kind of movie, not the one I'm watching, bro. <laughs> but with Lupe. The concepts are generally much more linear and tailored to a specific story that only he could ever think of and with this album right now, Lupe has once again taken things to the next level even for his own insane standards as through Samurai's 8 tracks, 
He raps from the perspective of the late Amy Winehouse as he reflects on both her struggles and musical genius okay. and spins this even more by interpreting her to be a battle rapper, which actually was an art that she was deeply interested in and inspired by herself. And while this concept is nowhere near as relatable okay. as anything Kendrick has done on any of his albums, which all tap into direct emotions and experiences that most people can either relate to or understand on some fundamental level. Just this in itself showcases the unique duality between these MCs that makes the way they don't just see eye to eye so infatuating because despite being so They're similar in terms of being great lyricists and conceptual masterminds, they approach designing their album experiences so differently and while some may see this as a flaw that the concept for this album from Lupe is so specific and I do think that this is fair and understandable on some level, when you actually listen to the LP and see just how deep Lupe goes into everything and really becomes an entirely different person to convey a narrative, I think that you can say that without a doubt this is one of the most brilliant artistic statements that hip hop has seen this entire year. I mean like, I'm not saying that Lupe does not put out good music. I'm not saying Lupe is not a wicked MC. His penmanship is not off the chain. I ain't saying that because Lupe is different. But the minute you start talking that bullshit that Drizzy is better than K Dot, what are you talking? Numbers? Album fucking sales? Because that's where it stops. Then I'm starting to question everything about you. You know what I'm saying? Like real talk. Now Lupe Fiasco's pen game is top class throughout this entire record as he hits that perfect lyrical sweet spot that offers complexity to challenge the listener, but always keeps the narrative in mind and the music as vibrant and well structured as ever. It's genuinely a marvel to hear an MC so locked in for 8 tracks and 31 minutes as they just create this ever expansive musical world that feels so dynamic. Between Lupe's brilliant writing, which brings everything to life in such a fluent way, and his flows and album. vocals, which only further enhance the experience as they are always changing with each new rhyme scheme he unleashes, and musically. With production that at times can be soulful and jazzy, but at other moments can be hollow and hopeless. Lupe masterfully creates a body of work that tells the story he is trying to put across in a manner that is so well thought out and truly justifies repeat listens and with the brilliance of this project only being comparable to a few other artistic statements that have been put into the hip hop world this year. Okay. It's clear that while on one front, Samurai is serving as the ninth album in Lupe Fiasco's catalog that is offering listeners another experience that they will never quite forget about. On the other, the lyrical mastery, sharp rhyme schemes, genius storytelling, conceptual depth, and the dynamic production are all calling out Kendrick Lamar right now and telling him that while somebody like Drake has to provoke a beef by calling you out through faint lines that are alluding to you and your essence, Lupe sends his message through his art, which is currently showing everyone that while Drake and Cole were no match for Kendrick, Lupe Fiasco has both the lyrical and artistic well, ability that can give if you're calling somebody out and it's on wax, bro, and you know what I mean, you hear because you're trying to take the throne, that's legit. That's legit. That's what we want in hip-hop, that competitive, competitiveness. We want that right now. We need it. Yeah, so I'm down for that. That's what Lupe is doing. But when you go and pull the drizzy, it's better than the the card. It makes me just, you know, what, are you, what are you talking about? Are you, are you sure we on the same planet? Because you might need to go and get some goggles not even glasses, some goggles, prescription goggles, you know, the Steve Urkel kind. Give Kendrick the best competition he has had yet. And while I don't think Lupe will start this feud directly, despite how he always seems to come out and diss Kendrick every now and then online and in interviews, I would not be surprised that when we get more music from Kendrick Lamar, which is definitely on the way in some shape or form, mm. if he finally addresses Lupe after years of all of this dissing and as a hip hop fan, this is the beef that I would want to see most, him. because while it may not be as dramatic as Kendrick and Drake, it would give us perhaps the greatest lyrical battle the genre has ever seen. As we wouldn't just be watching two artists who are super popular battle it out, but we would be watching two artists who are at an equal skill level duel to figure out who is the best MC once and for all. So with all that said, let me know. Do you think Lupe has what it takes to take on Kendrick in a full-on rap beef? And what do you think of his new album, Samurai, as a whole? Where does it rank in his catalog and in total albums this Look, year? I know for sure it's definitely an album of the year candidate for me. 
I can't wait to hear what you have to say, and if you want to see how Kendrick Lamar's other biggest hater in Drake is still trying to reignite their beef, check out the suggested video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, know. Um, because he got this new track coming out, which is out, number one headband, looping. So I was going to react to that. I said, let me do this first. So I think I'm going to have to go and check that out, see if he's making any subliminals, but I doubt it. You know, I'm not... <clears throat> I'm not really excited for Lupe K. Dot. What do you guys think? Who would you want to see K. Dot go against right now? Give me like your top three rappers, if given the chance, you'd love to see K. Dot battle with lyrically. Let me hear from you guys. Yeah, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Lupe wouldn't be one of them. I can tell you that now. <laughs> in my top three. Um, but yeah, no, thank you guys for tuning in. Like and share. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.